uh, winning DreamHax. So mm -hmm. he, he's just going to come there as a champion already. He has won like two or three DreamHax already. So he's, he might yeah, it's his playground. He, he can, <laughs> can do anything, really. Well, are you too worried about him now? In case, because he isn't actually, he's, I don't know if he's applied because he's not on the list at the moment. But Who I think be? if he's got a form like this, he's certainly applying. I don't, I don't see why else he would be. I mean, he loves the game, all right. But uh, if he's yeah. playing that much and he, if he's showing such a good performance, I think he wants to go to DreamHack. And I think he will be at DreamHack. Yeah. No worries. No, absolutely. Um, Phantom, is it alright if you stick around a couple more minutes? We can ask some more questions and stuff? Yeah, sure, go ahead, man. Awesome. Uh, I'm looking at a big list of players here for that are coming over to DreamHack. And you've already mentioned that um, Cooler, Rafa, some people you'd like to play. Um, yes. What about uh, some of the other Europeans? Are there, is there anyone there who you're thinking, who you're maybe think you could be surprised about or you're like Ashley I have no idea how this player could be or are you going to be going to DreamHack with just a completely open mind and looking for every kind of experience possible? I'd say a totally a bit of both. Um, I know everyone that is going is going to be training really hard and they will be on top of their game. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I don't want to underestimate anybody. Um, even some of the players I may think uh, you know, are, are the weaker ones, uh, the beatable ones, fairly easily, but that's not going to be it's not going to be the case. It's going to be different. Uh, you know, look at Sting for example. You know, I didn't think too much of him two or three weeks ago, but he's really showing that he, you know, he can take down some of the big names, cause some upsets himself. That's he's brilliant. Matrix brother after all. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so he's st he's stolen his skill though, because Matrox doesn't look as good as Sting anymore. I, I feel like even well, I, well, if I played for a couple of weeks, I feel like I could beat Matrox at this point. In, in between the two of them, Sting is the, the one who won one face it. Yeah. Matrox has been in finals maybe a couple of times, but uh, Sting he never won, won one. I don't think he did, no. Oh, wow. That's going to be an interesting pub and conversation. And Spadi actually he didn't win anyone. And he faced it. And I think he was pretty confident or semi-confident he would win uh, mm -hmm. this face it against Sting. But... No, Sting was really awesome in this game, in this tournament. So. Oh, that's true. Well, um, yeah, he's showing some some really strong aim as well. Is there anyone at the moment you think you could put yourself on the same level as? I mean, where do you see yourself in the field? We've got 27 players. Um, we'll just create a hypothetical list from one to 27. What number do you think you'd put yourself in at the moment? It's very, very, very that's hard, hard to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, I, that's, cause it's, it's very hard to say. I was trying to do. I was watching you the other night playing like five or six maps, and I was like, you know what? I do not have a single clue. I can't even. I can't even imagine a position I'd put you in. Yeah, I'm, like obviously, I'm I'd thinking like to... somewhere in top twenty, but I don't know where. <laughs> yeah, there's Basically. so many good players going. Yeah, it's that's beyond ridiculous. You picked. You picked an interesting time. Man, you should have come a year and a half ago. There's hardly anyone. <laughs> and then be but, top uh, eight. Yeah. but uh no I, I i don't know i don't have a, i don't wonder what people in chat are are thinking i'm i i know my my questions my questions are bad because it's so open-ended after dreamhack's over then all the answers will be there for us but it's it's just um all up in the air do you have any predictions for any finals at the moment is it is it somewhere you're aiming so for? easy <laughs> I know, right? No, it's not that easy. No, it's not. Okay. It's really not. Yeah, um, no. But it's, of course, it's, it's you can't. Though. You can't. You can't just take. Uh, you can't base it on you know current. Current. You know, it's still five weeks to Dreamax. So mm -hmm. Oaks are gonna be playing and practicing really hard, and we might see the usuals. You know, but we'll have to wait and see. Fair. What What does Oaks mean exactly? I've heard you use that word a lot. Uh, it's just like guys. Oh, it's okay. I like it. Use, yeah. That's an awesome <laughs> word. I'm going to yeah, use it. I just had I made it one question myself. about uh, sensitivity. Yeah. <laughs> just remember it. Like, um, Phantom, do you use um, low sensitivity? Uh, not really. I use it. It is, it is like medium with a slight amount of axile. How many centimeters right. per 360 to give uh, some uh, 
an I'd idea. Say. Yeah. Um, I'd say probably around 10 to 12. That's not medium. That's high sense, man. That's high. Well, <laughs> I, I'm on uh, 14 or 15. That's like, that's like that much, guys. You can see on a uh, on the mouse pad. It's a very. It's, it's quite a small amount. How much are you on, Demon? I, I've never measured it. I'd, I'd have to actually measure it, but it's it's hard to assume. Okay. Um, I'm on 15 ish. 15. Oh, okay. 15 ish. But what I I was questioning is um, during the games against uh, well. Between uh, Phantom and Detroni, yes. I thought that uh, Phantom had like a much uh, lower sense than Detroni, more like in the sense that uh, Detroni has a high sense. Like he looked like a CTFer to me. I like how you refer to Phantom as third person when you're talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just, uh, you know. <laughs> no, I know. Uh, I'm beginning. It's like, good for I'm the viewers. Very so. good shortcaster, man. So. <laughs> yeah, it look, looks about like. 15, maybe 16, maybe even a little bit more, 17 even. Okay. But obviously it also, also depends how quickly I'm moving my mouse, you know, because I play with a slight amount of axon. True, true. What, yes. what about so, Detroni? Yeah, Detroni. Um, he looks like he has sure. a really high sense. I think his sense is quite high, to be honest. Um, yeah, he, he's played great for a long time, actually. Um, he's, he's always been, like, you know, pretty good. I'd say three, four years ago, um, but in the last two or two years or so, he's been really playing a lot, um, mm -hmm. and it goes to show. Like he always plays Aero and he always plays Toxicity, so those are his top two maps. Um, yeah. I can, I, I, I feel I can do a lot better against him, um, but I'm, I myself, because I've been playing Counter Strike for the last year, uh, my Quake's very inconsistent. I need to just get back to a more consistent level. Are you going to touch Counter-Strike at all between now and DreamHack? No, no, of course not. Uh, I haven't touched Counter-Strike since, since Rage. Oh, fair. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, um, if anyone in chat you... has any questions, by the way, do yeah, write them and I'll take question. note. Go on. Uh, do you feel you have uh, any disadvantage of uh, not being able to play against uh, most of the, the player base, like European players? Most like definitely. Yeah, so who can you play against, actually? There's um, probably between five guys that I, I actually enjoy playing against. Um, so it is very limited. I often find myself at times where I'm wanting to play and neither of them are online. Um, then I kind of turn to watching VODs and demos. Uh, I've always, it's always been one of my things since I even started playing Quake 3 in 2000. I've always watched a lot of the international players, um, so I've always learned a lot of uh, ways to play. Um, it's just a matter of actually getting that game time. But definitely, I do feel slightly disadvantaged. I feel if I had to live in the UK and if I could play against the top players as regularly as most other players can, I, I feel I could be a lot better than what I am at the moment. Okay. Uh, how, how many? How? What is your training schedule like with Quake? How many games or how much time are you spending on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, I'm playing literally as much as I can. Um, I'm playing at least. I'm playing every day at least uh, two to three hours. Um, weekends. This last weekend, I put in about 12 hours. So I, I have a you lot have 40 of 40 games on Saturday. I think 40 matches you have. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of making up to do. You know, so um, no better time than to get started now and to continue right until Dreamhack. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Uh, uh, are you thinking about coming early to Europe to? To play more. I mean, when are you coming to play? Um, we flying the we flying the 25th, uh, the night of the 25th. So only getting there the 26th. We would have liked to have come earlier, but uh, I can't take any more leave at the moment. So I had to take most of my leave for end of March next year, as my fiance and I's uh, honeymoon. Oh no! Are you getting married? Yeah. yeah Congrats, man! Congrats. Congrats. Thanks. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I had to. I took as much leave as, leave as I could, and that's basically the week before Dreamac, or well, that that week itself. So we're flying Monday night, so we're at least there two days before the time. We're gonna try uh, if we can't play on the practice machine or on the competition machines before the time before the comp. We'd like to maybe try go to some internet cafes um, for those two days and try and get as much time as possible against some of the Euros. That would be pretty cool. That would be very cool. Uh, what what kind of hardware are you guys using? Or like, what's your, what what gear are you using at the moment? People, uh, people want to know. You mean peripherals or yeah, PC like specs? Your your mouse, your uh, headset, mouse pad. I'm a I'm a huge SteelSeries fanboy, so I play with the Sensei Raw Rubberized. 
Um, I got the the thick pad, uh, the cloth one, and then I got. Um, I play with the jeez, what headphones are these even now? I can't even remember. It's the the the, the Siberia V2s. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, and then the mechanical keyboard. Oh, what is it? The 6G V2 Steel Series one. This is, I think, yeah. the one yeah. that uses. Okay, okay, that's the same keyboard that I use. In fact, uh, there are other more questions I've noticed in chat actually. It, um, I think I might have asked you this earlier. Is there something about sponsorship? Are either of you getting sponsored, or what's what's the deal there? Um, we well, Detroit is privately funding himself. You can say I'm getting sponsored. Um, there's a couple of players um, in and around actually the community because they they've actually clubbed money together to pay for the majority of my trip, which is really wow. really awesome of them. That is incredible. Um, there's been talk of this uh, in the last two or three years of them doing it, but uh, nothing's ever you know, actually come of it. Um, so I'm really glad that it actually is and for them to make it possible. So, so I've, I mean, uh, big thanks to say to a couple of my friends. Um, so it's not really just even for for you to make a big impression. You're kind of doing this really to show to the community also like what you can do in DreamHack and that this um, it was something good for the community to do. Exactly. There's there's a there's a huge support base from our South African community. The guys love Quake. The guys love International Quake. That's amazing. And I think there's yeah. nothing more than than uh, it's even better for them if I can actually play against those Oaks and even beat them. Uh, yeah. How much? How much is it actually? Uh, how much the trip's costing me? Yeah. The whole um, trip. Man. If I had to work it out to a more common current currency like dollars, I'd say uh, about two thousand dollars. Well, okay. Yeah, and, it's a big like, investment. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah uh, the, big, the, big props to the community. Definitely. definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah the Oaks, Oaks are legends. I mean, <laughs> I've, made, I've made a lot of lot of my very best friends. Like guys, I've been playing Quake with for over a decade. Yeah, no, that's exactly the same. Uh, almost, well, almost the same. I haven't played as long as you, but there's basically half the friends I hang out with now are from Quake. So Quake, yeah. Quake from brings from the best things in life. From what oh, I yeah, see, uh, like you deserve to be there, and I'm really happy that you can be there. So thanks, thanks. I want man, you it's... to win, though, man. I want I want you and Detroni to be in the finals, or I want you and the Australians uh, uh, to <laughs> fuck you, Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Demon, you can get top 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 16. That's cool. Is that okay? If... I'd I'd try to, I'd love I'd love to do obviously a lot better than that. Um, Hopefully I can train up and uh, improve on my game and be good enough for for maybe top six. No, oh, I was saying demon top sixteen. Oh you, shame! <laughs> top Why are you so rude to the guy? <laughs> I'm not that girl, man. <laughs> don't demon, don't leave, don't leave. Uh, there, there's there's actually, there's more questions uh, coming in, and I know I I had more. Is, is there any um? Rivalry? Do you is are you kind of looking at the Australians as as friend or foe? We're going there. I'd I'd say because of the Australians that are going, I'd say far. Yeah. Um I love uh, I love Python. We get along very well, so I'm sad he's not coming. Uh, okay, it would have okay. been nice. But uh, <laughs> in general, I do lo I obviously do enjoy the Aussies, but uh, these guys are going to be my enemies now until after Dreamhack. Nice, nice. I like to hear that. After that, we can have some beers together and have a good laugh. <laughs> so you versus Fraser, or you versus Kama, you think is going to be? I I don't I dare call it a grudge match, but you know you're going to be. Pointing, uh, definitely, you know, because it obviously strings back to all the sports between the two countries, rugby and cricket. Of course, crickets. of course, that makes a lot of yeah. sense now. Who won? The, so, who's better at uh, cricket and rugby at the moment? Uh, it's very hard to say. Australia's playing very well. We haven't uh, toured them, or they haven't toured us. But I think there is a tour coming up soon, uh, beginning of next year, uh, between South Africa and Australia. But we we did uh, dominate them a bit the last time they were here. <laughs> Wait, is this rugby or cricket? Like you're more Crick interested in cricket, eh? Oh, okay. Oh, no, all for the rugby. What's with the lack of rugby love, man? No, of course rugby as well. We uh, it was what the the rugby championship recently between South Africa, New Zealand, Australia, and Argentina. Ah, I sadly didn't see. I see. I only watch video games. That's that's my problem. <laughs> I have to, I have to no, take no. an actual holiday to get to the rugby. Yeah, it's quite crazy. I even try and watch VODs and stuff at work when I have a chance. So. <laughs> Exactly. I work at home now, and that's basically all I do. 
Lucky you. Lucky I know, you. right? I know. <laughs> and there's another, there's another question. I don't know when I'm going to be able to stop asking questions. Who's your favorite player to watch that's going to Green Hat, Dream Hack? You said, you've already mentioned who you'd like to play. Is there a difference on who you... Yeah, who do you want to watch? Um, I absolutely love um, Cypher. His, his style, I think, when mm -hmm. he's... When he's playing 100% uh, seriously, um, there's nothing better to watch. It's crisp. It's you know almost near perfect, if I can say that. Yeah. It's something. It's something to really aspire to to for, for you and for your own game. Mhm. Mm I know, definitely. But what what would be the, if you had to take away something from DreamHack? I mean, if it's a series win or a map win, what would be really awesome to come home with and say you've done? I, I, like it's, it's always absolutely awesome making good friends, you know. Um, yeah. You know, I even got, get awesome. along very well with Fad, so it's going to be nice to see him again too. Um, mm -hmm. Spotty was here in South Africa for Rage in 2009. Um, we had a bit of fun together as well. So, yeah, um, uh, it's always good to make good friends, but obviously it'll be even better if I can come home with uh, some, some nice wins under my belt. Definitely. And do you think it's something that would revitalize the South African community as well? Definitely, you know, this it, it draws attention to the game. Even guys that don't even really play are keen to watch and keen to find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've already had tons of friends ask that don't even play Quake to let me know where they can watch and how they can watch and when. You know. Oh wow! Awesome. Are, are you going to have people? Is your fiance going to be watching? Um, she is going to actually make a plan. The, her and a couple of my close mates are already organizing to go watch like a 55-inch plasma TV in someone's house with surround Serious? sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That sounds incredible. Hopefully, hopefully I can uh, at least show them some good games. Yeah, no, definitely. Do they know the game? I mean, do they know the how how it's all gonna work? Do they know what your objective is in the game? Or I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be marrying my fiance if she didn't. Okay, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brilliant. That's yeah, what I no, want. She, I, I even got her to play a bit the other night, but shame she got a bit motion uh, got a bit of motion sickness. Oh. Yeah, my, I'm trying to get my, my girlfriend to play Quake, but she's, yeah, a similar kind of thing, to be honest. Mm. And she's also just shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. If you ever meet her, don't tell her that. Um, <laughs> people are asking, I don't know if I'm casting there yet at all, but oh, well, are there, if there are any more questions left, Demon, I don't know if you've got anything else you want to say, because I, I think we can, uh, start, um, we can start wrapping um. things up soon. Yeah, I want to say one thing is I hope that um, Phantom and Detroni do not get uh, too much low seed, so I don't have to play them. <laughs> you don't want to play them group stage? No, they are looking really good. Okay. Well, I hopefully um, Blaze um, and Slazer, the admins, are going to be taking a look. They have to. They like me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's eight people per group and it's top so four groups and top four per group at least this is what's being said so that's going to be a lot of games man it's like it's you know, crazy. seven game, seven best of five games you each in a group you're looking at up to 35 matches and times that by 10 you're looking at six six hours of you know mm -hmm. It's, crazy. It's, it's an immense amount, but it's really good for everyone who's going because everyone's going to get a lot of games. You know, in the That's past, the it's been seven matches you, know, you'd need in order to win the in order to get to the finals and win the finals. You need to just win seven games back to back, and mm -hmm. now it's maybe you know, closer to twelve or so like that. A huge amount. Um, yeah, the groups. I'm very. Lo I'm looking forward to to seeing what groups we get. Um, did you know I was hoping that we don't get put in the same group because that would really suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure they won't put you in the same group. I imagine no, you'll get... You're going to be split. Yeah, I, I will be I'd hope so. <laughs> if, you, if you get put in the same group. And if you do, then I'm going to shout at the admins. So don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> so someone said, I think there's something a little bit touched on this earlier. With the lack of players you play against, what do you do to really improve your game and know you're improving? I mean, how do you... Yeah. How does that go for you? I don't know if you can go it's to it's very hard. It's um, you know I've when I first started playing Quake, I used to practice against bots um, because I didn't have anyone else to play with. Um, I used to play Anarchy on T4 um, in Quake 3, and in 15 minutes, like I used to play it like four to six hours a day. Wow. I got to a, got to a point where I was tearing that bot uh, 156-0 in 15 minutes. <laughs> you awesome. know, so that was like. 
my when I first started playing Quake, I used to train, but uh, after that, it was more about watching vods and demos, learning uh, you know techniques and styles to playing maps. Um, otherwise, these days it's more about just practicing my timing. My timing's still off at the moment. I find uh, sometimes I can time it for straight ten minutes, but sometimes I'm forgetting. Yeah. It also depends, obviously, on the situation. But um, yeah, and my aim also uh, working on that. But okay. a lot of it's a lot of it's mental for me at the moment. I find um, I, I don't. I, I think I think I can play a lot better than than what I've showed. Um, I really do believe that. So it's just a matter of uh, you know yeah. putting things in place in in my in my mind and uh, sorting it out. Definitely. Are there things that you've noticed from today that you're gonna seek to improve immediately? What do you, what is the thing you want to improve the most at the moment? In your game. Smarter decisions. Uh, I, I'm challenging way too much, still, way too much. Uh, it's probably my biggest weakness at this moment. Mm -hmm. um, I'm relying too much on my aim. I need to rather just play it more, play it smarter. You know, uh, take my opponent when I definitely have the upper position, and I'm not uh, going to be walking away with two HP. Um, you know, try get those clean frags and follow up with some nice spawn frags. Spawn fragging has always been one of my strongest. Uh, Aspects to my game. We so saw on Lost World today. I'd like to. I'd like to capitalize on that. Um, you know. Do you I, think that's a point that lacked uh, in the show match today? Yes, definitely. I was. I was uh, giving away many frags um, unnecessarily, uh, challenging. You know. Um, but do you think it's because it was the opponent? I mean, it was a show. It was a show match. It was against the Tromi, the Tromi, uh, which you played a lot, obviously. So it it is obviously a factor, you know. I don't I don't want to I don't want to show everything that I can do, you know, to to the public just yet. Uh, I'd rather, you know, let players like yourself find out on the day of Dreamhack. <laughs> okay. I, I've been That's analyzing cool. you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of your vods as well, dude. You you also play yeah. very well at the moment. Oh really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not after today, be, man. It would be sick I, to I didn't show anything. Uh, I was uh, hiding everything. <laughs> Same. Nice. I nice. lost on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to throw you off. What What about team games in South Africa? Well, what's how's the team game community? And would there ever be a, a hope in hell of seeing a team being taken from South Africa to Europe? You mean like for QuakeCon or for like um, like the Prague TDM land? If that happens again. Would and there's maybe a bigger prize pool or something. Would the South Africans get a crew together? Look at this point, I I cannot I cannot even say that it it won't. You know because it's also one of these things that's been in the works in the pipelines. Like I mentioned earlier, with people putting money together to put one of us overseas to DreamHack for a mm -hmm. competition. You know, like that's become a reality now. And that's happening. Um, there's obviously been talks of of such a thing happening in the past five, six, seven years. Um, there's there's a few names that stick out, particularly for um, a South African TDM team, and we've always we've always had very good TDM players. Um, myself, my, my my older brother actually, he's living in Dubai now. He doesn't play Quake anymore, but he played a lot also in, back in the day. He and I went to World Cup games together, and we played in the two v two, the Nations Nations Cup, um, and we did really well actually. I think the team that won knocked us out. It was Sweden. I think it was. Um, hmm. Correctly, it was Faz, and who was the other sweet? I can't, I can't remember was his it name. Zev or someone like that? I don't know. I'm no. Not sure, I'm not sure. Um, I th no, it wasn't even Zamus. I can't remember who it was. But yeah, like, you know, it's always been a very big thing in South Africa. Unfortunately, there is just no. I'd say in the last two years, there's just been no TDMs going on. It's either duels or clan arena, and that's it. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right there. Thanks, everyone in chat, for asking some great questions. And, of course, thanks, uh, you, Phantom, for sticking around so long and uh, casting a bit and talking to us lots. And thank you, Demon, for keeping me company as well when Ins has been gone. Any it's last words? Pleasure. Thank you, Zoot. Thank you, man. Just yeah. want to say thanks to you for, for doing the shot casting and streaming. It's always awesome. And uh, I look forward to seeing some, some awesome VODs from you. Absolutely welcome, man. And I'm sure there will be many VODs in the future. The Demon, any, anything from uh, from you before I, I wrap this show up? No, I had a lot of questions, but uh, no. Have Whatever. you got more? Have you got more questions? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about 
Well, if you want to cut the stream, all right. Okay, well, I, can, I don't mind carrying on. If you, I thought you were out yeah. of questions. I just so have one question. It's okay. about after DreamHack. Like, this is going to be, like, we don't know about DreamHack Summer, but QuakeCon. What about QuakeCon? It, it's probably going to be um, the same amount of cash to get you there, Phantom. And yeah. So, what about it? So, is there any plan? Is there any... You do, know, do I, you was, go there? I was... I wanted to go to QuakeCon last year. I was I was dead set on going. I was playing Quake a lot. I was at a very good stage, and um, unfortunately, yeah, it just it kind of fell through. Unfortunately, um, but we'll see. I, I'd 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 love to. I'd love to. But get, but also, if you get a good position this year in DreamHack, do you think it's definitely going to motivate you? Yeah, that's 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 no doubtedly what it will come down to. If I can if I can really do well, if I can if I can place in the top five, that would be really great for me. Um, especially if I could pick up some international sponsor, you know, mm -hmm. that would be perfect and ideal. But um, just have to let the you know let the game do the talking. Obviously, sure. if you're doing top three in Dreamhack, you're gonna be thinking about Quakecon. Yeah, it's nice. All of them. That would and be, why not? Why that not? would be sick, man. I, I'm, I'm so excited to see the games, and uh, I, I really can't wait for DreamHack because it's every, every day I'm getting more and more excited for it, and I'm gonna be spying on you on public servers in the future. So just, so will I. Yeah. So let me in. <laughs> no, please do. It's always the guys love having you guys around, and it's always nice to see some internationals joining our servers for a change because we always were the, usually the ones following everyone else around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be spying on on you now. Anyway, guys, thanks once again yeah. i'm going to close the stream out um have yourself a well stream viewers have yourself a fantastic evening and demon and phantom uh you guys as well we'll catch you tomorrow for quarter finals and uh, hopefully once we've got all the players revealed for dreamhack we might even